Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will create a new playlist and it's about Eclipse software. So Eclipse is a very popular reservoir simulation software. And in this video, we will talk about the script, the script for a particular simulation case. And actually it's about CO2 storage. Okay, so we will talk about script for simulation of CO2 storage in Eclipse. Okay, so let's go directly to our case. I will introduce the method to do the scripting. So first, maybe you're already familiar with reservoir simulation, including the scripting. If I make this like this one, so if I just type in like this one, okay, two dash, okay, at least two dashes, it means I make a comment. And a comment will not be considered by the simulation software as a function. Okay, so it's just a comment. So maybe you already quite familiar with simulation or coding, you know that. Maybe in MATLAB, you can do like this, and it means a comment. A comment is not a function for the software, okay? So we have this one, it's just to make a title, okay? And guidance for us. So we have this one, the title, CO2 storage example or tutorial, something like this. And then this one is a guidance to show you that we make a comment by typing this, this one, two dashes, okay? And we have the first keyword, of course, we will start with the keyword run spec, okay? And we have comment here. So this keyword run spec, we will request the metric unit set and we will enter general information about our model, okay? So you must start the simulation in Eclipse with run spec, okay? Remember that. And then we have the next keyword, which is metric. And this keyword or this function will set the simulation, this, the Eclipse, to have metric unit in our system. Okay, so we will not have a field unit like feet or maybe PSIA in our simulation. We will talk about kilogram and then meter and then second and then bars, something like that, okay? And then for the capillary pressure, you can read our comment, capillary pressure mode, okay? For water, it's the pressure minus capillary pressure, okay? Water is the waiting phase and the gas is the non-waiting phase and PG, okay? equals to P. Okay, the pressure for the gas phase, the non-waiting phase equals to the pressure itself, pressure in the reservoir. And then the, the selection for the capillary pressure mode, I use options three. And here, it's just a setting for the capillary pressure mode. Hopefully in the next, in the future, I will talk and in more detail about the capillary pressure mode in Eclipse. And then we will activate the diffusion function by this keyword because yeah, we have CO2 storage example. So it will include diffusion. Okay, still in specification section, we set comps and you see we have number four here and then here slash. So by setting this keyword or this function, or maybe you can also think this keyword as a button, okay? Comps, it means that I will mention how many components that I have in my simulation. And because I type four here, it means that I will have four components in total in my simulation. And in my comment, I say that the components are CO2, H2O, water, 
NaCl, sodium chloride, and calcium chloride, CaCl2. And later on in the next sections, I will, I will mention the, the components in this script, not in the comment, but as a function. And then the next keyword, demands. Here, we specify the dimension of the model or the number of grid blocks to each direction or axis. In other words, we will talk about nx number of grid blocks in x direction, in y direction, and in z direction. And by the way, don't forget you, you must close these comps with this slash. So th this is how we type the script in Eclipse. Okay, if you erase this one, you will have error. Okay, so make sure that after number four here, and then you close with slash. And you also do that in the diamonds. So we have 14. It means that, let me type in. Okay, it means my NX is 14, 14 grid blocks and and Y 14 grid blocks and NZ 10 grid blocks. Okay, that's quite simple. Okay, so I have 14 grid blocks for each X and Y direction, X and Y axis and 10 grid blocks vertically. So, so you can also say that we have 10 layers vertically and close with slash. Okay. And tap dims, okay, tap dims. It's also a basic keyword in simulation, tap dims. All right, and then this one, okay. H wells, it means that we will have horizontal well in our simulation, okay. And then CO2 store. This is the most important keyword in this case because we will have CO2 storage case. By the way, for CO2 storage in Eclipse, this functionality here, we have case of CO2 storage in aquifer. So you cannot use CO2 store if you want to model or you, if you want to simulate CO2 storage in depleted hydrocarbon reservoir, oil, or gas reservoir cannot, yeah. So for CO2 store, you only involve water in aqueous phase, okay, as aqueous phase, water, and gas. In this case, the gas is the CO2 itself. So you will not involve hydrocarbon in CO2 store. If you want to use hydrocarbon, then you will need other keyword, which is CO2 salt, okay, not not CO2 store, but CO2 saw. Okay, hopefully in other video, we'll talk about the CO2, CO2 saw as well. Okay, and full imp. So full imp is fully implicit method. Large time steps can be used if the simulation is run using full fully implicit method. So by using this full in keyword, it means that I want to activate the fully implicit method. Okay. All right. And then the next one, the next keyword is solid. This is important because in our CO2 storage, there will be solids, there will be solid minerals involved in the process. So we want to determine that, yes, we will have solid. So I put solid keyword in the script. Later on, if you, after you upload or insert this keyword, I mean this script, okay, this file into the machine, into the Eclipse simulator, yeah, it will know that, yeah, we will have solid, okay? so. Scripting is like coding, but it's not necessarily a coding because yeah, it's just, we play with keywords, not with matrix or not with 
the computation it's keyword but it's still sort of you know coding all right so by typing something like co2 store full imp or solid you are talking to the simulator you are talking to the software okay all right and then the next keyword is start it just means that this is the starting point of our simulation and you type in this date so first win day first start with date and then the month and then the year and then don't forget to close with this slash okay so far so good and then unif out and unif in it's just setting in the eclipse for restart file okay by using unif out and unif in we will produce unified restart file. Okay, so that's for the specification section. And then we will continue with the next section, which is grid section.